Welcome to 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil. And I've been working on how do I get cheap accounting software? I'm just cheap by nature. And a lot of you that work for churches and nonprofits, you want to save as much money as possible. And so one of the, the key things that I found was TechSoup. And in a previous video, and I'll link to that, I showed how to sign up with TechSoup. Well, I'm going to go the next step and I'm going to show you where you can, how you can buy QuickBooks for $75 for the year. So that's a lot less than you can buy the box uh, of QuickBooks, but it's also a lot less than you can buy the very cheapest version. I think the cheapest version is like $10 a month. So that's $120 for the year. So it's even cheaper than that. And it's not the cheapy, the cheapy online version either. It's the plus version. So let me go ahead and show you. All right, so we're gonna start here where I left off last time actually. Last time I was waiting for TechSoup to approve my charity as a, a, to be an official charity. So they really wanna guard uh, anybody from taking advantage of this program because they, donors are giving to this uh, TechSoup and then TechSoup is connecting them with qualified charities. And so what they're asking for here is that they want a, determination letter, my 501c3 determination letter. If you're a church, you may not have that. And there might be a different way to do that. I didn't, I didn't look, they'll probably ask for some other kind of documentation. They don't want it in word for obvious reasons, because you could just uh, type something up and submit it. Um, and it doesn't have to have your name on there. So it doesn't have to have my name, Jeff Pospisil on there. Uh, I could have had an outside accountant do this 501c3 thing and it wouldn't have my name on there. So they're not worried about that. So then th I went ahead and I replied back and I sent them my scanned copy of the determination letter. I can't remember if I showed that last time. I may have showed that in the last video. Um, anyway, and then after only a short amount of time, I got a reply back that said, uh, you, congratulations, you have been approved. And so actually it only took a couple of days. You see here, I did it, um, it only two days apart is all it took. So that was really cool that they were really quick. Like I said, I think it took about a week for the first reply, but then after I sent them my documentation, it was quick and easy. All right, now I am on TechSoup's website. And I have to go ahead and I log in. And forgot that I set this up with a Yahoo email address. That's kind of funny. Anyway, then you go up to that area up here and you click your account. And it'll bring it up. And I've already done this. Um, I went ahead and added the Upper Midwest Global Methodist. And before it, it was not yet qualified. The status was, I can't remember if it was pending or something like that, but it wasn't qualified. So I had to click that add an organization button and I had to go ahead and click uh, religious and click that I, we had a 501c3. And then I ended up adding in my tax ID number right from the IRS determination letter. So, and this is going to be right on the IRS website. So that's why I'm not too worried about you guys seeing my tax ID number for this charity. And there it was. And then I, but it wasn't that easy. I didn't just have to click on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you if I was going to add a different um, charity, what it would look like, because there was one more step there that almost screwed me up. So let's go ahead and check that out if I were to go and add a different charity. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what it was like. Um, so I did this ahead of time, you know, so right, let's look at what it was like if I was to add the, my charity in for the first time. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it and choose a religious nonprofit, 501c3, and I'm going to enter in a tax ID number. And I'm not going to really attach, try to, try to, attach this organization to my account but anyway it'll find that account so again the first step we did was setting it up that was the previous video as well as that follow-up email and once you find it then you can go into it and make sure you didn't 
delete. Now it's probably too late. Don't delete your emails too hasty. So because you need an activation code. And that was the big thing. You need that activation code. And I nearly deleted that email. And without that activation code, you're not going to be allowed to attach any account, um, any charity to your account. So you need that activation code to attach that charity to your account. So, and then after you do that, you can plug in your title and go ahead and continue. So I did that and now I'm ready to go ahead and get QuickBook, QuickBooks. So it's been a while, uh, it took a while to do. Um, it actually would have only taken me a week, but uh, because I started doing other stuff, uh, here it is a month and a half later. All right, so I found uh, under products catalog, I found Intuit, and then you have four choices. You have two boxes and then two online versions. The one I recommend is this Online Plus. So it's a one-year subscription, $75 and five users. And I find that to be adequate for almost any church. And, you know, unless you're a super large charity or a super large church, this should work for you. So again, it's QuickBooks Online Plus, one-year subscription, $75. And before I add it to the cart, I do want to point out a couple things. Um, I really don't want to look through the description too much. You can... It is, it's QuickBooks, but the subscription details, there are some important things here. Um, there's some about how you import the data, which is important, but also what if you have an existing subscription? I faced that a while ago where I had one client that was going from the paying the full version to wanting to jump onto TechSoup. And the thing you need to know is that you have to have the advanced uh, QuickBooks online advanced. And I think if I would have read this, I don't know if it would have been possible to bump up my subscription to advanced for a month and then move it over to TechSoup. Anyway, that might have been worth trying because it would have saved me a lot of setup work, but I didn't. So anyway, um, with this current client, they've never had QuickBooks, so I, I'm really not going to worry about that. The other thing to pay attention to is... Um, can't remember if I said this, but this automatically renews. So you are going to see an automatic renewal. Um, payroll does not come included. So if you want to do payroll or bill pay through this, which are really nice features, those are added on extra. Um, so just to know, I, if you don't have very many uh, employees, you can just do payroll manually. And it's not the worst thing in the world, but I really do like QuickBooks payroll. It, made, it makes things super easy. All right, and the rules and eligibility restrictions, they're just making sure that you are a legitimate charity using it for a purpose, and they can double-check that. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my cart, and now you can see that it's up there in the upper right-hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and um, click on that. And... That looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that to go ahead and let's uh, let's pay for this. And you have to agree again to their terms because again, this is this is a charity. People are are investing in your charity to make the world a better place. So I'm going to go ahead and click I agree and scroll on down. Nothing unusual here, but you do have to be willing. I mean, look through what you're agreeing to. You do have to be ready to demonstrate that you are a charity. So if they come back to you, don't be surprised. I've never had that happen though. All right, and then we're looking at the recipient name. And the only thing that I see here that I don't, you know, I set this up, when I originally set up this account, I, I used info at uppermidwestgmc.org. But I'd rather the emails come to me as the accountant because I'm going to be the one that pays the bills. So I don't want my subscription to not be paid for. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and change that email address. All right. Now it is Jeff, uh, jeff.f.posp. So I'm just going to check my Gmail to see if I have to validate that real quick. 
and it doesn't look like I had to do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. Everything looks good. Submit these changes. Okay, are you going? Sometimes it helps to click it twice or three times. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not. So sometimes would it, yeah, I get impatient. So I'm going to click it one more time. All right, there we go. And now I'm back to, to the cart. So I'm going to have to go ahead and pay again. Oh, and I did get an email and it just said, hey, yep, your account was successfully updated. Good job. All right, so now I'm going to go back and pay again. And yeah, this is the time where I wish I had a witty story as I'm waiting for things to process. So anyway, I'm going to click I agree and continue. And shipping and all that kind of stuff, shipping an email, that all looks good now. My email address is correct because that's the email address that's going to tell me when this is ready because you're not going to get it instantly. They have to fulfill this donor order. So here's my donation request. And so I'm going to have to pay for it here. So I am not going to show you my credit card information. So I'll be back in a second. All right. I just entered in my credit card information. And so now we're here to the form and I'm going to say pay automatically on the renewal. I just want it to pay automatically. I don't want to accidentally miss an email, have an email go to my junk, and then I don't have an accounting system. So maybe I'm paranoid, but that's the way I want to work it. All right. And success. My request number is right there. I probably have an email also waiting for me that says that. And it'll take um, two to three days is what they say. So in two to three days, they will, I'll get a notification that I am, have an account ready in QuickBooks. So I'm going to go ahead and print this so I don't lose it accidentally. So I don't accidentally delete an email. So I just printed it to PDF and saved it. All right. So when we get going again on this, I'll, I'll start showing you how to actually set up QuickBooks for your nonprofit. And uh, we'll start by walking through the chart of accounts and I'll try to document as much as I can along the way as I get going. All right, let me go ahead and I think I'm just looking at this email. Um, yeah, again, it's gonna, it tells me in a couple days, they will go ahead and get back to me. All right, that was a little longer e uh, video than normal, I mean, I suppose I could have cut out some of those boring parts where, where I was waiting for stuff to load, but I don't know if you're like me, um, I don't want to miss a step. You know, I don't want to like that activation code or, or whatever there happens to be. I don't want to miss a step. I want to see everything and I'd rather it be a little longer video than to accidentally uh, cut something that I needed. So hopefully that's a help. And like I say, we're going to go ahead and get deeper into this as we go on throughout the year. Till next time, God bless.